All right, a barber. Hello, folks, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Uh, hmm? You join us in the Gilded Vale. Uh, we're about to head into the uh, windmill, go and visit the other people, um, and see what's around. Now, let's uh, let's have a little look. See what all the fuss was about from the end of last episode. Uh, Trumbull nods at Kurt, greeting, you're back. Have you had any luck with Sweener? Oh, right, I've already spoken to you, have I? Right, I'll, uh, I'll get on that. I didn't realise I'd spoken to you. It's been a day or two, you know. Mm -hmm. We forget these things. Right, what have we picked up then? We've got Buried Secrets, which is the temple. Uh, right, Resolve the Feud. Speak with the innkeeper at our main quest. I believe I think I've been thinking of it. What I'll do for the purposes of pillars is do the quests in Gilded Vale, just help level up a little bit. Um, and then what we'll do is just try and follow the main quest and only go off on side quests when the uh, the main quest is too much for us. Because otherwise, we may be getting into the hundreds and hundreds of episodes. I'm a new channel. And I'm trying to like build up the playlists and things. So there's a couple of other games I'd like to be doing as well. So uh, we shall just run through the main quest as much as we can. And then do the side ones when we get stuck. Apart from Gilded Vale. Uh, we'll get this intro sort of area done before we start moving on. Sort out a few things. Have a look in here. Uh... Have we spoken to these guys? Uh, I need the text doesn't fit on the screen quite either. How do you do? Uh, how do you do? Can we help you? Do you know this woman, Nonton? Uh, he was, yeah, he was the bloke with the bear. We need to go and get the bear. We need to build up a party and get a bear. So, what I'd like is a mage. I think what I'd like is a healer. Uh, that's the blacksmith. Let's go to Orphra's house. Uh, a mage. A healer. And maybe a ranged unit. That's what I'd like. That's what I'd like. Let's see. Uh, right, that's in the house. Hello, have we spoken to you? I don't know if we have. A dear woody and woman is standing in front of the fireplace, humming a quiet tune to herself, or perhaps to her unborn child, for she is clearly quite pregnant. She turns her Hail head slightly well as you enter. Well, finally, I was starting to think. The woman makes a startled noise when she turns around and sees you. Oh, I'm sorry, I was expecting someone else. Can I help you? Uh, I've just arrived in Gilded Vale. Were you one of were you were, blah, 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 were you with one of the caravans? She looks at you hopefully, Master Odemus. Yes, I'm afraid the rest of the caravan was killed by our psychopathic tendons. No, 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 that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Orfra covers her, ma her mouth with her hand, eyes wide with horror. For a few moments, she can manage nothing but a strangled, voiceless gasping. Her eyes brimming with tears. I knew. I told her it was a dangerous path to take. Kaliska was always so certain she could take on any danger. Orphra sniffs. Oh, my poor sister. I'm sorry, stranger. I just can't believe she's gone. If only I hadn't called her here. If I hadn't written to her, she might still be alive somewhere. Orphra's face crumples and a solitary tear slides down her cheek. Uh, why did you send for Kaliska? Kaliska mentioned that she thought you needed help, but perhaps I can provide some assistance. Quit your snivelling. I'm a paladin. I don't do cruel. Uh, we'll go benevolent. We're nice. We're decent people. Uh, Orphra looks at you with some surprise before dabbling at her nose with a sleeve. That's kind of you to offer, but I don't know if I could impose this on you. It's not a small favour. Orphra wipes her tears. I'm worried about the baby, about the legacy. I told Kaliska as much as I could. But all I know is that for a long time now, every child born in Gilded Vale has been soulless, empty. It's happened to so many mothers, and Lord Raedric has exiled all of them, calling it a sign of the gods' disfavour. 
She sniffs. With my half-hort gone, I don't know how I'd manage if I lost my home too. I hope Kaliska could help me. They say Ranga, the old midwife, knows a way to prevent a child being hollowborn. But she moved south to Anslog's Compass two seasons ago. The journey's too far for me. I can't make it as I am. But I don't have anyone else now, with Kaliska gone. More tears run down her face. Please, can you help me? I'll find Ranga for you. Uh, yeah, I'll find Ranga for you. Don't you worry. All for a blinks, eyes wide. You will. God's bless you. Here, I'll give you coin to pay her with. You needn't trouble yourself with that. I think it's a drink she fashions out of. Well, I'm not sure, but it shouldn't be too much of a burden to carry back. And we've got a slight positive Gilded Veil reputation thing, which is always nice. Uh, Anslog's Compass is what we call the Lagoon to the south. You'll have to cross the wilds to get there. That's what keeps me from trying it myself. She clasps her hands together. Thank you again, truly. You'll be saving us both. She sets a hand on her stomach, smiling through her tears. Okay. Yeah. Load, load, load. Okay. So, we have another quest. We'll pick up all the quests. Just so they're available. Villager, villager, villager. Lots of villagers. Oh, hello. You see four people gathered by the door to the inn. Their raised voices and chopping gestures suggest an argument reaching its climax. The first figure raises his hands for calm. His face is partially obscured by a hood, but his height and stature suggest an elf. I meant no offence. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Oh, hello. Let's be rational about this. Everyone calm down. Whatever it's about, I'm sure it's an overreaction. One of the other men glazes at the hooded elf. His eyes are red from drink, but his gaze is focused. We're humble folk, but we're no fools. Not like he thinks, mocking us while he shelters in our village. We don't take to that kind of talk from foreigners, especially not Adrian's. Uh, the woman looks you up and down, and that means you two don't push us. Ooh, that's a bit rough. Go on, say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Your father smells of elderberries. Fire, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather. Do I want to all words to that effect? That'll do. I'll cut that barrel looking tongue out of your head. Oh, hello. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarreled. Yes. That's where you're wrong. Uh, I don't think attacking is a good idea. Let's be diplomatic. This is unnecessary. Wouldn't you rather be inside drinking than out here arguing? We don't take orders from any blazing Adrians. We don't take charity neither. They squint at you through red, bleary eyes. It sounds suspiciously like you're defending him. Oh, hello. Here we go. Right, what have we got? We've got Flames of Devotion. Uh, right, let's do that. I think that's all we need to worry about at the minute. Come on, Flames of... Oh, he's down already. Flames of Devotion, come on. Oh, Aloth got one. That's fine. That's nice. Oh, got him. Ha ha ha. You shall not defeat my super power sword of maciness. I think it's a mace, not a sword. I don't know. We'll have a look in a minute. As the last of the attackers falls, the elf turns to you, the tension almost gone from his smooth face. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. I'm glad I could help. We're benevolent. He gives you a quick smile. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts, as is the company of a fellow countrywoman. He strains his hood, and you note the remains of fraying embroidery on his gloves. His boots are caked with the dirt of many months' travel, but the leatherwork beneath is sturdy and fine. I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. 
Alof Corvisa, at your service. Alof Corvisa, okay. Tell me I'm about a yourself. By training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. And both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? Well, I was travelling with a caravan, but we were separated. The ruins. Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. Half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? Uh, should we go stoic? Hmm. He's a fellow traveller. He's a fellow traveller. A beer whack. You survived? I heard such a thing was impossible. We survived. It seems you either have a knack for timing or the favour of the gods. Ah, I've got the favour of the gods. That's my theory. Uh, what are you doing in Gilded Vale? Excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. I think it is. Didn't we get told about that last time? The blokey with the tree and the hanging and the talky blokey. Uh, what have we got? Yeah, I've been experiencing strange things of late. I'm looking for an expert on souls. Indeed. The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. Well, that's not a good thing. Yes, we saw the old tree. I didn't read that bit, but he nods at the gnarled old tree in the center of town. Uh, uh, his starting glance takes in the tumble-down buildings and the fallow rock stew strewn fields. I expect that such expertise would be best sought elsewhere. So how did you manage to cross those three drunks? I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. You did make a rather lewd suggestion regarding one of the aggressors and his own sister. Ah, that. He clears his throat and adjusts his sleeves. As I tried to tell them, they misheard me. Happens all too easily after a few pints and the accent doesn't help. I see. For which I am grateful. Let's uh, discuss something else. You don't exactly look like a settler. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. As should I, given recent yes, events. Let's get going. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. He Perhaps gives... I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. I was going to read that then. Never mind. Okay, I'll just shut up. Uh, right, better to travel in numbers. Yes. Excellent. Let's. I shall follow you. Excellent. We have... We have... Aloth, the second level wizard. Now... I'll, uh, I won't run through his stats. There you go. Have a little look. He does have some leather armor, which, what's that one? 1 1.1 1 .1 ability area of effect, which is always nice. Area of effect is intelligence. Oh, good. Good, good, good. And he's got a high interrupt. Now, I have been doing a bit of sort of off-camera playing, and I'm a little bit, in fact, I say I'm a little bit further in. I started a new character again because I'm learning the system, so I've got... Uh, I've got so far on learning the system, so I've got some some ideas on on what to do, and I've learnt about the spells. So what you have with the spells, I didn't want that, is a grimoire, and you can only have four spells of each level, but you can get multiple grimoires. Now the problem with a wizard is a lot of the time you want the wizard at the back of the party. Um. But a lot of their stuff is sort of coming from their hands, so you've got a cone effect. So you kind of want them at the front of the party, and I haven't mastered wizard maneuverability yet. So, uh, 
now we've got this new member we will make sure our formations are okay they're the same that's absolutely fine by me i tell you what we will do is number two we'll put them to the side hmm? right let's pick up some loot can all go in trash what did he have Bye. with him anyway uh right he's got a mace he's got a little bit of armor that can go in stash this can all go in stash and I have learnt a little bit about crafting, but I don't think we can do anything yet. No, we'll come to that later on. Okay, no worries. Right, let's go yeah. into the inn. Let's go into the well inn. Met, friend. Well met. Hello and welcome to the, the innkeeper looks up. Oh, it's you, 10th Rith told us what you did for him. It's such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough. Uh, consider yourself a favourite of the house. Discounts on drinks, rooms, ten frith. Said he wanted to whip up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. She laughs. So what would you like? Oh, he was the cook, little dwarfy cook dude. Okay. Uh, right, we don't want anything yet. Let's know more about the Black Hound. Really? Well, let me see. The actual building's been here for years, but the Black Hound's fairly new. We get a lot of new faces in here, too. Fewer than we used to, I'll admit. Ten Frith's a big draw. I'm sure we'll get the big crowds back again in no time. I used to work the tables, actually, until the old owner up and left. Nobody's sure what happened to him. Even his poor hound, even left his poor hound behind. That's the name, see? The Black Hound. It's still sitting upstairs pining after him, poor old girl place ended up in my hands somehow she laughs my very own inn a lot of hard work involved but it's been worth it so far please sit where you like would you like a drink or room yeah that's fine okay let's leave for a minute let's have a little word with ten frith let's see if he gives me anything ah it's you my savior he makes a sweeping gesture to indicate the kitchen around you it's so good to be back do not think I will let this go unrewarded. I have decided that you have earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets, my dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. A savoury pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your travels. Okay. So, crafting. No, savoury pie. We've learned a savoury pie. We just need to get the stuff to get it to work. How much money do we have? A thousand gold, or copper, and not a lot of other stuff. So that's not too good. Because I have learned with, with the crafting, with the food and stuff, they'll last five minutes. Ooh, I've leveled up. Would you look at that? We've leveled up. Uh, the food and that will last about five minutes, and then you get that's potions that last about 30 seconds. So let's see what we've got for sale. Let's go to the stash and sell everything. Uh, oh, there's a scroll there. We want to keep that. We want to keep that lot, and we want to keep that lot, right? Uh, trade, 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 trade. Get rid of that. Go into the inventory. Go into stash. Where was that spell? Because Aloth requires two law. I believe Aloth is has a lot of law. No, that's me, Aloth. Law 7, look. Use level 3 scrolls. Excellent. So, Aloth can have Scroll of Nature's Mark, which gives the foe minus 10 deflection, minus 10 reflex. Which is always handy. Uh, on there. Veggies. And that can go in the stash. Because we'll use those to make more food. Once we buy some food. Huh? Right, let's do yeah. some shopping. Uh, let's see what you have for sale. Let's buy some food. Right, we've got normal food. Should we buy that lot first? Let's buy ingredients. 12. Cheese, 6. Milk, la 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 la. Get that lot. How much money do we have? We have crap tons of money. Let's do that. Get a load of food up. We won't worry about potions. That's half our money gone. We can get a level 1 adventurer. I think we can level up and get a level 2 adventurer. Now, well, I'm going down the athletics route, am I? 
mechanics is quite expensive law is going to go up fairly quickly i assume yeah well we'll stick with athletics and we'll stick with mechanics someone else can be the spotter right what uh paladin ability do we want lay on hands 36 endurance over five seconds zealous force gives a friendly aura aura of plus six accuracy a zealous charge inspires the paladin and all allies to charge fiercely into battle plus two move speed that could be useful plus 15 defense when disengaging that could be useful and plus three damage reduction which is always useful let's go with zealous charge shall we i think plus two move speed look see i have got a mace look i was right okay is that it all right athletics mechanics and a new aura okay crafting let's see if we've got enough ingredients to craft some stuff we can make one of them and we can make one of them all right so we got a bunch of food we will i believe they stack oh these stack in sixes i thought they stacked in fives right food food let's put it in the bottom slot i said let's put it in the bottom slot because you know i can right keep that out keep that out those are ingredients those are all ingredients okay we'll carry the food look at that beautiful so we've got some munchies yeah nom 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 huh? i'm sure i'll forget about those in a couple of days right we've seen him mm -hmm. We need to go and speak to Sweemer. Sweeney Sweener. Schooner. Hello. Don't know who you are and don't much care. Keep walking. We're not here to chat with foreigners. You, know, you leave the windmill man alone. Aloth narrows his eyes. Careful. Looks like they're cut from the same cloth as those riders who attacked me. He wrinkles his nose. Smells like it too. Trumbull says, you've been threatening his father. Well, do you know what? Let's get your side of the story. I saw you outside of the mill. What was that about? Well, someone fancies themselves a meddler, eh? What's that about? It's about Trum Trumbull thinking he's the king of the town on account of he's got the mill to his name. The dwarf's jowls quiver with rage. It's about him barely giving us anything for the wheat we bring him and then cutting our purses when we need to buy grain. It's about farmers going hungry while some bastard gets rich off their crops. Yeah, but didn't he say there's like a shortage and like the king's killing everyone and it's all going to shit anyway, no? That's what it's fucking about. Now shove off. Let's buy you a round, then you'll talk to me diplomatically. Sweener considers it briefly, he looks to the others. Fair enough, you bring us something to wet our throats and I might be up for trading words. I already hey, bought beer. I bought drinks. Hey, so you have. By the flame, I never thought I'd be so happy for a mug of the Black Iron shit beer. Gods, that's good. All right, then. You've got my attention. What is it you've got to say that's worth a round of drinks? Uh, there's no sense in threatening... Right, this is diplomatic. No sense in threatening the miller. You have him up against a wall. Maybe you could ask some of the villagers for help. Uh, maybe you could tell me more. Resolve 16. You so much as raise your voice to that family again and I'll hang you from the windmill blades for the crows to eat. Passionate. Resolve and passion. All right. Fair enough. Uh, we're not going to fight. We'll go diplomatic. We're, we're being uh, paladin-like. So there's no sense in threatening the miller. Sweener eyes you for a few long moments, drinking deep from his mug. Then he sighs. You're right, things go on like they are. We're just going to end up hanging from that tree out there. He looks to his comrades. Tell Trumbull we'll leave him be. Don't know what we'll do now, though. With the crops failing, haven't got another trade to speak of. Think Pasca needs a hand around, a hand around the inn. Maybe, maybe she does. We can go back to Trumbull. Let's have a look around here. Now, it turns out, because I've been playing elsewhere, you see... But when you go and reach out for the soul, you do get some good stories. And these are all from Kickstarter backers. 
all the yellow names of Kickstarter backers. Huh? So although they may be good stories, I'm reading them myself on my sort of own personal playthrough when I get to do like a good two, three, four hour session. Um, rather than on here where we would, as much as we want the story, we do want to uh, get through it. Uh, loads of people there. Oh, look at little puppy. The hound stares intently at the covered window, head cocked as if waiting to hear a particular sound. It looks up when you approach and whines a low note, tail wagging slightly. Oh, I could use a good dog. Join me. The dog's ears perk up. It trots over to you and barks happily. Have we just gained a pet? Yeah, we've gained a pet. Excellent. Uh, we keep pets over there. So who do, who do we have? Just Black Hound. This small dog has a glossy black coat and an affable disposition. She trots along at your heels, gazing up devotedly whenever you come to a stop. Excellent. So way out there. Now being a paladin, we're not going to be thieving things. You're just a guest. But we are... Did I look in here? We are looking for sort of named NPCs. We'll pick up some quests and things. And at least then they'll be in our logbook for if we need them later on. So we've sorted them out. We've sorted them out. We're not tired. So let's head out and have a look at what we've got. We'll do the Gilded Veil because it's uh, they're all doable. We may need to hire some adventurers. We'll return to Trumbull first. That, I think, needs needs one or two more of us. Two of us aren't going to do it. We could possibly go to Anslog's Compass, get that done. Uh, meanwhile, where was I going? The windmill. The windmill. Report to Trumbull. Double time, people. Double time. Rock and roll. Da, 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 da. Look at my little puppy following behind me. Who needs a space pig when you've got a good old decent dog? There we go. Mr. Trumbull. Let's turn off double speed. Well met, friend. I spoke to Sweener. Trumbull takes a deep breath. And what did he say? I've convinced him to leave your family in peace. Why, that's... Really? That's great news. I wasn't sure you'd get through to him. They're out of their minds with drink half the time. I owe you a great deal. I owe you a great debt. Here. He pulls a coin purse from his hip and pushes it towards you. Today's earnings to show my appreciation. And you can be sure I'll let everyone know what you've done for me. Oh, we're a paladin. We don't want the money. We want the money. But we don't want the money. Let's go with benevolent. Keep it. You're having a hard enough time. You're a very generous soul, friend, and we'll have to thank you for making it through. And we'll have to thank you for making it through the coming year. Safe travels, and may you find favour with the gods. Excellent. Oh, look, Alos leveled up. Let's get him done right. He does law, so let's go law. Um, do we want to go in anything else? Stealth is always useful, but we'll maybe we could hire a rogue. Maybe we could hire a rogue. Oh, a couple of new spells. What should we take? We do like stuff that targets different things. Uh, bewildering Spectacle. Like different things, like uh, this makes them confused. And I think confused targets will. Whereas Binding Web would be Reflex. Versus reflex. Oh, they just get confused. Okay, well, we'll take that. And then... Blackened sight versus their willpower. We'll take that. Make them blinded. Accuracy is reduced by 25 for all sources. That's quite a lot. We'll do that. We'll have those. They're quite useful spells. Uh, right. Done. Rock and roll. Moving on. What's our plan then? What's our plan? We can... 
We can go. We've done against the grain late for dinner. Right. Buried secrets we can't do yet. Mother's plea. Let's go to Ansalog's compass. There's are there are a couple of big things down there. How much money did I have left? Probably enough for one adventure. Oh, I was leveled up and then I was going to buy an adventure, wasn't I? And I didn't because I'm an idiot. So let's run back. Let's go and get us an adventure. We could do with... I'm a paladin. But I don't heal things. Zealous charge. Modal. Combat only. Inspires the paladin. That gives me my extra stuff. What we need is a healer. Maybe a priest. Sure. And then what we'll do is when we meet yeah, NPCs, well let's look get some reliable help. Oh no, I want I want some help. Help, help, help. Right, level two adventurer will wipe us out of money. Right, what do we want? We've got a girly and a blokey, so we'll have a girly. Done. Not, not done. Next. That's always a better choice. Now, what do we want? Do we want a healer? I think we all need a healer. I'm going to be tanky. Healer can stay at the back. Yeah, we'll go for a healer. Who's good at healing? What do we need for healing? Area of effect. Area of effect is... Dexterity? Possibly... Dexterity. It should tell me on here. No, it doesn't. It'll tell me on the stats, won't it? Where are the stats? Come on, stats. Yeah, we'll just pick that for a minute. Stats. Dexterity. Error of effect. Error of effect. Error of effect is intellect. Right. So if we go for an intellectual priest. Uh, Godlike get intellect, don't they? That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. Let's have a little play. What we'll do with these NPCs is when we pick up main characters, like story characters, we'll take them and we'll drop off these guys. So we're not going to spend too much time on them. Oh, God, like, do attacky things, do they? When reduced to 50% endurance, they get damage reduction. Every encounter... When reduced below, they get waves of healing moonlight. Oh, that's nuts. That's what I'm talking about. That looks well for a healer. Oh, look at you. With your moon head. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, body type. Oh, should we make you massive? Should we make you massive? A massive healer. Right, we're going to go priest because we want healing. Holy Radiance generates a modest amount of endurance for allies around the priest. Any vessels caught in the area take burn. Any enemy vessels caught in the area take burn damage and may be frightened. Oh, we're liking that. We're liking that. Okay, priest. Priest it is. We've got a priest. Uh, now, we want to go the same sort of thing as me. Ben benevolent and Honest diplomatic as well we want a diplomatic there is no diplomatic so we'll go benevolent benevolent there benevolent benevolent honest and we don't do cruel or deceptive that fits in perfectly that's absolutely spot on right intellect we are going to get the biggest air of effect that we can we're going to max out your intellect uh, we'll stick a couple in there, and then we'll put the rest in might. Do we really want might? You're not going to get that involved in combat. I'm going to keep your might at 10. Damage and healing. Oh, it increases damage and healing, and it will heal yourself. All right, fair enough then. Okay, fair enough. It's not just damage. Now, where are we from? We want intellect, really. There we go. Old Valia. That'll do. Law. We've got law. We've got some mechanics. He's not going to stay with us long anyway. Let's go law to Make him an artist. An artistic healer. Have we got a different head, though? We've only got three heads. Oh, I think I prefer that one. Horny man. 
big double horns. Uh, you'll do. Right, male mystic. There we go. Next. Oh, what are we going to call him? Uh, need a good healer man. Uh, I know. Dr. Foster from Gloucester. Doctor. Dr. Foster. Went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. Right, yeah. we've got a priest. We've got a healy priesty man. We should have a look and see what things he does when we click on him. What things does oh. he do when we click on him? Mm. Not a lot. Holy Radiance. Uh, okay, let's uh, level him up. That was quick and easy. Let's get his lore up. Well, his lore, well, it doesn't matter that Alos got lore as well. Uh, right, we've got that super brilliant aura. Burn versus Will. More anything, more Healy. Dazed, AoE dazed. 10 accuracy. Everyone receives less healing from the Holy Radiance, but the priest gains a bonus to all attributes and movements. That's really good, but you're not having it. An uh, accuracy bonus. Uh, that always, is always good for hitting things, I guess. Uh, interdiction, I think, is a separate thing. Um, I think we'll... I think we'll go for interdiction and have a couple of effects that we can send off. Cool. Yeah. Right. Uh, my neighbour's smoke alarm has just been going off. I hope you haven't been able to hear it. Uh, we want to head south to this uh, compass place, don't we? That's our next mm -hmm. plan. Oh, no, there's three of us. We might be able to do the, the buried secrets now. Oh, decisions, decisions. I think we'll go there, see if we can level up. And then when we come back, we'll do the temple. I right. think that's my plan. I think that's my plan. Let's go to Magrin's Fork. I think we might just get this done. And that might be the end of our episode if we're going to have a little exploration. Oh, we're on double speed. Get off double speed for a bit. Let's see how good these guys do in a fight. Hello, Mr. Man. Ah, oh, uh, hello there. Begging your pardon, but you gave me a good fright. I thought I heard something rustling through the brush. Suppose that was just you, silly of me. And what are you doing all alone in the bushes, sir? Hmm? Don't suppose you happen to need some supplies. Thought I'd make my way over to Madmar Bridge, but I'm starting to think I'd be better off heading back to town and getting a few more folks together. Better safe than sorry, right? Say, did you hear something? Hmm? I did not hear anything. What's going on? Oh, look, we got a wolfie, we got a wolfie. Right, what we want to do quiet. is go... Oh, he's going to come in anyway. Right, okay. Huh? What we want to do is start fighting. Yes. Let him come to us. We should have eaten. Yes. We should have had a sandwich. We didn't have a sandwich. An interdiction. It's a faux AoE, so he's going to be well in range by the time I catch him. So that's fine. Do it. Right. So we've attacked. Interdiction. Interdiction. Dazed the wolf. Okay. So his defenses. I've been learning about all these defenses. So you've got your deflection is the shield. The little strong arm man is uh, fortitude. The little foot is reflex. And the head is willpower. Or will. So, he's got low... The wolf has low will, so we want to try and attack it with will. Uh, yeah. Not will Riker. That would be a bad thing. What we will do is... I don't think we need a zealous charge. We're already in combat. We'll do our super strikes. We'll do... This attacks reflex. He's got quite a high reflex, but attacking it should give us a definite number. It reckons... It's about 54 at the minute. We'll see what it is in a moment. You've just done interdiction. Right, now Dr. Foster is ready for something else. We don't need healing yet. Uh, we know the creature's will is low. So if we've got something that attacks will, we'll be doing well. Divine Terror. Okay. Now, some of the spells... 
if you get the orange on your players like that, it's not going to hit your player. It's only when it goes into the red. I don't know why it's not quite working there. But anyway, right, let's get on with it. Have you got to get up close for that? Aloth has okay. finished his spell. He's coming into attack. Why is he? There we go. Cast your spell. Aloth yeah. has done his two per encounter things. And we don't really want to use his second level and first level spells. We've got four first level, two second level for the minute. Let's get off. There we go. Dr. Foster did Divine Terror. It crits and the wolf is frightened for 33 seconds. I don't know what difference that makes to the wolf hitting me. But let's get on and finish the wolf off. He's got two bubs left. Come on. Yeah. Have I got anything left? Oh, I can do another one of these. We'll do that. I think we did, what, eight damage. That wasn't a lot. Let's pause that a second. So uh, accuracy 27 minus is defense of 40. Which is his... Uh, need to bring down his shield, really. Or I need to change to a sword. So that I do slashing damage, I think, maybe. But anyway, one wolf down. One wolf down. Come on, there we go. Clicky, clicky. Take loot. Let's speak to this man. By every star in the sky, thank you. I've never seen these beasts so bold before. Strange times we're in. Here, take these. I'm headed back to Gilded Vale for certain, and you can make better use of them. What's he giving us? Three potions of minor endurance. Always nice. We'll add those to my stash. And then... Everyone else can have them once my stash is full because huh? I'm a selfish paladin like that. There we go. Right, let's get searching this little... Uh, let's have a little look at this map over here. See if we can clear this place out. Oh, spotted a wolf. Get hiding. Nice I don't think hiding matters. We haven't got a ranger yet. Uh, but we've got a wolf there. Hmm? Let's have a little right. sneak forward. Who's got sneak? I don't think anyone's got any sneak, do we? I certainly have none. Uh, Aloth has none. And Dr. Foster has none. We are not very good at sneaking. Right. Oh, there's a second one. I don't know if we can take two. Oh, there's three. That, I think, will be very, very difficult. Oh, shit. Been spotted. Been spotted. There's four. There's four. There's five. Yeah, this is not going to end well. We might be reloading. And I haven't quick saved for a while. Uh, so we might be reloading fairly soon. Right, set that off. Let's get you lot down a bit. How may I help? Uh, now, we know. Oh, we don't know anything about them yet. Look, we've, we're taking guesses in the dark at the minute. I don't think we're going to survive this at all. Right, who just did, did stuff? Right, Dr. Foster has just finished doing stuff, which means I can activate... Oh, look, they're going to go for him, aren't they? they were, those two are going to move over here and take them. All right, go for that. Aloth. What do we know about these wolves yet? They've got a low will. Now we're going to get out the big spells. Curse of Blackened Sight. Can I get all five? Possibly. Curse of Blackened Sight. Now, have you got anything that attacks Will? Fortitude. Divine Terror. Do that again. Let's see how this goes. No, you've gone into combat. Don't go into combat. Cast your spell. Just go for the four of them. Right, they're blinded. Let them not be hitting on me. I've got another attack. And I didn't eat food again. Because I'm a numpty. Right. Dr. Foster has finished his stuff. Has Aloth finished his stuff? We can't blind them again. We can bewildering spectacle them. Confusing enemies. We like enemy confusion. We'll do that. Uh, how are we doing on... on we're alright for endurance. 
Uh, no, anything else that attacks will halt. That just stops one of them. So we'll save our last spell for healing. We've got a healing aura and a healing spell. So you're just going to have to get in and mace these buggers. As you are doing. And we're going to be relying on Aloth and his remaining spells. Look at that. Some of them ran away. That's fine. That's good. Right. Aloth, move over here. Away from those runny wolves. Excellent. Oh, they've come back. Right. They're coming back. Uh, Aloth, what else have you got? Basically magic missiles. Attacks deflection. Attacks reflex. And attacks reflex. We still don't know what these guys' reflexes are. Oh, he's got, like, no deflection. I wonder if the rest have no deflection. We sh you should just be able to take him down now, then. Come on, hit him. Hit him with his no deflection. There we go. Right. You two on this dude. Now, what else can we do? We could do a fan the flames. If I step back a little bit and get my get him and 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 Gabrielle in the yellow bit of the flames. Oh, it's still gonna do damage, look. I thought the yellow bit of the flames was just faux AoE. That's not a good scenario. We might have to missiles. What do missiles go against? Deflection. Do we know what these things' deflections are? That's quite a high deflection. Right, let's test this one out. Yeah, it'll have to try something else. Deflection is really high. Will is really low. Let's try reflex. Let's see if we can get them three with reflex. Oh, we've got one of the wolves down at least, which is more than what I thought we were going to do. Oh, our paladin man's taking a bit of a beating. I say paladin, he's a priest. Start your healing chance. There we go. Right. Aloth is done. No, Dr. Foster is done. And he's got one more healing spell available to him. Restore minor endurance. We might have to do that. Okay, do that there. Uh, Aloth. No. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What have we got? Low will. They're all low will. Uh, they're all low will. We still don't know what their deflection is. Their deflection is quite high there. We can't change weapons in combat. And I'm stuck being paused for ages. Hey, Loth, you just attack while I think about things. Uh, do you know what? They don't seem to be doing us a lot of damage. Oh, they're doing him some damage. Right. Let's just get attacking. Do that. Get your healing out. Oh, have you used your healing? Are you wounded or something? Flanked? Is it because you're flanked? Yeah, we know your... your oh, your health has gone up a little bit. Ah, is that from the, the aura? Cool. Oh, look, your health is really low. You're going to die. You're going to die. That's not good. Can I get three of them? Yes. Come on, take this little one out, and then we can take one of the flanky ones off of him. Come on. Yeah. Have I got anything left? No. I could drink a potion. That's not going to do me any good. I have got that, though, which is pierce versus deflection. And that's crush versus, versus deflection. Uh, I don't think that's going to make any difference. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. He's gone. He's down. He's down. No, Aloth, run out. Don't do that. Go after him. Oh, I'm still up, but he's got two on him. And I need to disengage from this one. Oh, that's not good. He's gone. He's down. We're not going to take three more wolves. I'm pretty damn sure we're not going to take three more wolves. Do you know, we're going to have to burning hands and see what happens. I'll take the pain. Boom. Yeah, look, I did loads of damage to me. Yeah, I think we might have to reload that. And uh, we're also approaching the hour mark. So this battle has been a little bit of a waste. Although a learning experience. We can't do five walls with three players. 
Come on, Aloth, why are you not casting anything? There we go, I'm gone. And it won't take long for Aloth to go. So uh, I'll uh, I'll wrap it there, and then we'll come back. What's the name of the place? Magrin's Fork. We'll come back into Magrin's Fork next episode. Um, I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, but uh, there's no point starting this new fight again next episode. Oh, he's just taken one out. Go, Magrin. Not Magrin, uh, Aloth. Magrin's Fork is where we are. There we go, the party has died. So until next time, folks, bye-bye for now.